Tom, when did you join Team BMW? So I haven't joined for very long. Obviously, I came last year in 2019 and uh, yeah, loved every second since. 2017 for me, year one. Uh, I was with, with another team uh, the, the previous season and I'd got a sniff that BMW were coming uh, back to, to BTCC and uh, I knew straight away as exactly where I wanted to be. You know, I'd grown up in the early to mid 90s watching BMW in, in British touring cars and people like um, Steve Soper and, and Joe Winklehawk. So, uh, you know, that was the, the chance I thought uh, you know, it could deliver me uh, more titles and it's been a pretty good relationship since then. I always had this vision when I came into the team that it would just be all all work, no play and everybody would be very, very serious. But um, everybody was very friendly to me and, and made me and my family very welcome. Dick Bennett has been around a long time in motorsport and he's got such a strong history of winning in every series he's entered. And just the, the drive and determination to never let any stone go unturned or, or anything like that, it's, yeah. it's quite remarkable. You know, genuinely, there's, there's, there's no bad eggs in the team. Everybody's pushing in, in, in the same direction and we all want to win um, every year. You know, we want to be serial winners, not, not just a one-off. Tom, you've only been here for two years, but what is your favourite BMW Protect X livery? Is it this one or the year before? Oh, this one blew me away. Um, all of last year, I was I was on at Dick and BMW and everybody said, oh, we've got to go black car, we've got to go black car, you know, the, the DTM car in Germany, the BMW had gone black and it just looked epic. Got to agree with Tom, this is the best uh, looking touring car on the grid and I think for, for, for quite some number of years. Uh, the, the first uh, livery we had on the on the One Series uh, with, with the Protect X branding, I thought was, was stunning, you know, it was the first time we'd had the car in the iconic BMW colours, you know, the red, white and blue. But, you know, I feel everything we've done since then has, has been an evolution and every year we've, we've sort of upped the game. Uh, but this has been the game changer, uh, you know, the, the, the black car just looks mean, looks fast. What's the scariest track that we visit? And pick out a corner for me, Tom. I'm pretty sure you're going to get the same answer from both of us on this one. Um, I don't know about you, but it's got to be Thruxton for me and Church. The wind always seems to just come straight across and push you off. And, you know, the, um, you don't have a lot of runoff, really. There's some, there's some big trees quite close to the track. So I'd say that's probably the scariest corner on the track, but also one of the most rewarding if you get it right. He's really selling it to me, Colin. <laughs> have, you, have you got uh, any others? I'm not going back there next year. <laughs> no, we've got to go there twice next year. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I'll pick somewhere different. Um, I think Brands Hatch Grand Prix is a very challenging circuit. You know, we don't get to drive that layout very often, and it's the second half of the lap which is, which is the real challenge. BMW Protect X, one series or three series in the wet? Uh, for me, the 3 Series, uh, as much as the 1 Series was a fantastic car and had a very nimble and quick change of direction, in the quicker corners, and especially when, it's, w when it was wet, it was quite lively at the rear, so anybody that's had a bit of a moment going around a roundabout <laughs> knows what that <laughs> feels like. It's hard in the mouth moments, so uh, the, the longer wheelbase of the 3 Series gives us a bit more stability. You know, this car really ticks all the boxes, the 3 Series, but you know, was built last year and we've developed into this year. Honestly, you know, any conditions we throw at it, they, um, it just takes it in its stride and I feel every single race meeting we're learning more and more about it. Um, you know, it gives us both great confidence in the wet and, you know, I have really enjoyed racing it in the wet, had some, some great races at Alton Park this year, carving through the field. So, you know, it's, it's the best race car I've ever driven, uh, no matter what conditions we, we run in. So, um, so yeah, it's going to have to be the three series. Lockdown. What got you through it? How was it for you? Hit me. Go on, Carl. Um, what got me through lockdown? Eating, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look it. <laughs> there, uh, there wasn't an awful lot else to do. Yeah, our, our day revolved heavily around mealtimes and uh, how creative we could, we could make them. And, you know, I find myself looking at the clock thinking, oh, it's only another two hours to, to, to my next meal. It wasn't an easy time for anybody. Um, you know, I was quite lucky. I was just stuck in my house. So, um, sadly alone. My girlfriend was all the way in Australia. Couldn't have been further away. But uh, it did mean I get to play all the Xbox I want. So, um, no, it, my days really revolved around sort of speaking to my mates, 
playing Xbox, that sort of thing. Um, that sort of got me through it. Let's go back. You're learning to drive and you've got to pick a competitor from the BTCC grid to be your instructor. <laughs> Who do you choose, Colin? Come on. I failed my test first time. Oh. That is the worst bit of you. I failed my test twice. I passed oh, on my third. Oh, that's <laughs> We've got a winner. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it didn't go well for me on my road. It was quite annoying. What's the fastest speed you've ever gone in a car or a bike or whatever? Probably the fastest I have been is when I'm getting a lovely slipstream off off the back off of me. Big Tom's yeah. car. <laughs> it's up, up to uh, 150 miles an hour. That's that's me maxed out. So, to be honest, that's probably quick enough for me. <laughs> still, still too fast. That is Tom. Uh, for me, it's got to be at Le Mans. Um, I competed in a, in a Porsche support series and we topped the Porsche out at 188 mile an hour down mm. the Monson straight. And what was incredible is you topped it out in qualifying, but it was during a race where 65 cars set off and we were four abreast down the back straight, 12 deep, all just ebbing and flowing. And I had to have a little word to myself before I went out, telling myself, don't lift. Whatever you do, do not lift. Just keep it pinned. Listen, I'm going to stick here and do my job, but thank you, gentlemen. Cheers, mate.